and that is just translucent and glowing. Let's head him up. Woo! With Catch him all fishing with Zach. Ketchum. Look at this fish. Get him up. Welcome back guys. We have a crazy update for you. I've never seen anything like this on my channel, on anyone's channel, on anything to do with fish forms. Like, this is so crazy. And this specific fish that came out of the wild, this is a wild caught fish. This is a genetic mutation that I've never personally seen before. I've seen weird morphs, highball, albino. We even have a couple that we bought obviously from rod, predatory fins, or other friends and just the pet and the fish trade. but. I, I've never seen anything like this happen to a fish with my own eyes. It turned from straight orange and now it is all over the place. But I wanted to show you once again, where is this guy? Straight down below. I wanted to show you once again what this fish was swimming with. And I believe that there could be some type of correlation between the parents. Remember, this is a wild fish and this fish itself. We're going to go to the other pond which has the fish, but I want to show you what a could be parent is right here now in our giants. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> this guy's fast. This guy's fast. Look at that giant. Oh, oh my oh. god. Come on. Come on. Don't worry, he's down here. I know it's tough. Come on over there. Gotta get him in the corner. Come on, it's okay. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, here we go. Oh, perfect, come on. I want to tell you something about Lauren. Savior Jesus Christ! Sir! Sir! <laughs> <laughs> come on! Contact me about your extended call one Come on. Yeah. Sir? <laughs> Guys, all right. Look also how big our albino has gotten. <laughs> That boy is over 20 now. Come on. Come on. And then obviously our top pets. God. Please. Please. Come on. Oh. Come on. The you? The head. Ankle ankles. Arthur. Defend me. Nice. Slam. Got slapped by the other fish. Mm -hmm. It is. Oh, you, nope. oh, you might have got Ankles. Not today. That defense. Defense wins games. Oh, oh what? What? Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on. Come on, doggy. You've never seen defense like this. Oh. She got through. Close. I just want to again show you guys a little glimpse of this Waterlands Live 95 because I designed them. They're the best of the best. They don't hurt your head. They're nice and stretchy and smooth. They are the best sunglasses I've ever put on my face because I've experienced a lot of high-end sunglasses and there's always missing something. These are not missing anything. Check this out. Once again, super glary. I'm just going to show you exactly what this thing does. Bum. If I can just focus in. Insane. The difference is absolutely insane. It's unreal. It's unreal, like it really is. It really is. And just like that, you can't even tell there's a fish there. It's, 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 it's unreal. <laughs> but Waterlands guys, code catch them 15% off. These are the best glasses of all time. I'm gonna go back to trying to scoop this thing up. We're gonna run for it. Go Got him in the corner, he's close. Got him in the corner. It's Texas now. Welcome to Texas, sir. Got him. Oh, got him. Nice. <laughs> Got him. Look at the size of this thing. This is the one that old Catch and Bay caught. Mm. Look at that monstrosity. All right. <laughs> Look how big this thing is. Check He's this so out. so fat. This is as big as they get, ladies and gentlemen. This is the OG that Catch and Bay caught. That thing is beautiful now this is a male specimen but the females are also bright orange it's just a leaf beautiful now remember the color of this when I show you this other fish now you I don't know if you guys remember that orange gar 
recently a short popped off. I don't post many shorts, but it got like 12 million views. And I showed you this fish or a fish similar to it with the orange gar and the regular gar. Now, I want you to see the transformation between that fish before and that fish now. But I'm pretty sure it has something to do with these species in the wild mangling. Look at that. Unblemished. This fat, unblemished, beautiful fish. But how similar does that look? Oh! To that baby. Oh, a jumper, huh? Yeah, jumper. That's why I like messing with them on the soft grass. I'm gonna go ahead, let them swim off strong. Check that out. Fatty. Fatty. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Now we're gonna head over to the other pond. It's insane. It's insane, the transformation. It's really like, it's. I'm at a loss for words of what I actually witnessed in a span of only half a year, a few months. It's crazy to see the difference back then and now, and we're gonna go see it right now. We're back here now. I've kept this thing as isolated as I could with non-predatory fish. Obviously now he's got a couple little uh, little roommates that also eat uh, pretty, pretty meaty diets, but where are you, my beautiful? Look at this thing. Look, at, he's waiting for me. Eats pellets. Can you see this thing come a little closer? He might run away from you. It's such a weird, unique fish. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm actually gonna grab some water. I wasn't gonna grab some water and keep him in there, but for us to observe him a little bit longer, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a bin to put him in. All right. So that bad boy's gonna fill up for us. This is such a unique fish. I've never personally seen anything like this in any pet store in the wild, aside from this fish. Now remember, this is a wild fish. Its parents are wild fish. This is something I've never seen before. I'm not sure what the orange mutation is exactly from, but as you guys saw earlier, that orange cichlid is as orange as it gets, and they are invasive down here in South Florida. The, the gar, this is not an alligator gar, this is a Florida gar, is green as green can get, and you saw those parents. I, I don't know. Everyone saw that short video that I put the cichlid and a, a gar fish next to each other, and <laughs> Weirder things have happened. They're both fish. We're gonna find out what this thing actually looks like together. I have not taken him out since he was bright orange all the way through and through. And when you see this guy, enough water. All right, that's gonna, I'm gonna continue to let that flow. This is such a unique animal. I don't wanna hurt him. I'm gonna scoop him out, keep him in there for a short period of time and see what there is to see. Okay guys. Despite his orange colorations, he has completely morphed into something brand new. I thought he was going to be bright orange forever, and obviously that is not the case, but he still has a lot of it. All right, here it comes. Oop. The last time. Look at this thing. I don't want his nose to get stuck in the net. I'm going to go ahead and lift him. But I just want you guys to know, this is completely legit. Completely legit. This is not some funny video editing or anything like that. This is legit. All right. How crazy is this? Can you even believe it? It's like, so wild. It's wild. And now, if you look at him, he's fresh. You know, his his face is still orange. He's really fat because he's been eating pellets. He has graduated to eating pellets. He is a little bit. There, it's still a guard, still super hardy. But look at that. I'm trying to show you the belly, because that's even more miraculous. I just saw a quick glimpse of it. He's not going to want to be upside down. But look at that thing. Look at its. Oh, look at the underbelly to it. That is so cool under his mouth. Yeah. Look at that, dude. How insane! And look how it's shiny it is. You see that? You see the shininess to it? Yeah. That's so insane under his mouth. He's like it, literally the regular gar and then you flip him over. So he's spotted. Ahead. And that is just translucent and glowing and shiny and literally gold. And then let's look at him from the top. Now he's slowing down a little bit. Go ahead, buddy. You can grab your air. Remember these are air breathers. They are very, very hardy fish. Some of the hardiest fish ever. The eyes are black. Look at the coloration on this thing. 
Normally I don't like to keep gar because they tend to be a little bit gross sometimes and they can have like a, a weird like a parasite infestation or worms or anything like that. They, their slime is just, it's not something that other fish should be around in tight quarters and I've learned that the hard way. And also Paku love to snack on them. <laughs> they love chewing on them. They love them. They like freaking hot dogs to them. But this guy, I just had to because he was bright orange when he was caught. He was caught amongst cichlids and he was caught amongst the regular gar. And now you guys can see get nice and tight on this thing. So you can see him, he's nice and slowing down. If you want to see him from straight above, look at the pattern. Look at that pattern. That is unbelievable. The head, just beautiful bright orange. Remember, this whole entire thing was bright orange. Just one color, solid bright orange, as bright orange as the beak is. I'm so happy he was able to slow down for us a little bit. Just remarkable. And now, this was completely dark. It was black. And now he's starting to lighten, lighten up again. And he's having these, this weird cheetah pattern go through him. He's so unique. He's one of the most unique fish I've ever seen. I'm gonna release him, but I really wanna get a nice picture in the sunlight for you guys. Let's see if I can do that. Oh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> so interesting, such an interesting animal. Hold on. Relax. This guy, oh. this guy does have teeth, but he's a good boy. It's a really good boy. He's been with me for quite some time right now. Luckily, we didn't lose him in the power outage. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Look at that. That's wow, what we want to so see. Sick. In the sunlight. This thing is gold, dude. What a cool specimen. And this was entirely orange like its head. Entirely. That's insane, man. Yeah, ridiculous. This is so cool, guys. I'm so happy to share this with you. This is one of our success stories. Caught in the wild, he would have definitely been eaten. But now, he's getting nice and big. He's already big enough now where most fish aren't going to eat him. So only predators would probably be snapping turtles and mostly alligators and hawks, birds of prey, raccoons, stuff like that. But yeah, he's crazy. Actually, take one more look. You can see him really well from above right here, too. That looks awesome. He is so cool. Look at the orange. It's so distinct. So distinct. You can, can you guys see that at home? Yeah, we can see everything. That see. is amazing. Amazing. The transformation is amazing. So I'm going to go ahead and release this guy. We go ahead. Take him out of here. Wow. Here we go. Same water. Didn't have him out for very long. Amazing little guy. Super happy, super healthy. Awesome guys, guys, Copper Waterlands are right in the link below. Super happy about this. It's been amazing to watch him grow up through the polarization. <laughs> but seriously, that, that thing is like a third wonder of the world to me in the fish community. That thing is so unique. So guys, stay tuned for the next episode. We're gonna keep trying to catch him. Uh, I wish I had footage of that thing being caught in the wild, but my friend Grassy Cricket was the one who caught him. He actually was able to catch two of them in the same general area around those Midas cichlids and the regular Florida gar. So things happen out here. It's South Florida. It's crazy. Don't drink the water, guys. But stay tuned for the next episode and catch them all. Catch them all. Woo!